Hey everyone, this is Mason with Mountain Rose Herbs and today I'm going to teach you how to make smreka. Smreka is a great recipe to make. It's a Bosnian fermented beverage and uh, I'm always looking for new drinks and foods to introduce into my life and uh, bonus points if they're fermented, uh, good for that gut microbiome and, and bonus points if they're simple. Smreka is both of those. Um, it's kind of what it looks like. It's so delicious. It's slightly carbonated and aromatic from the juniper berries. I first learned about it from this book, uh, Sandor Katz's classic, The Art of Fermentation. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Um, but I learned about it and I was like, oh, this is super simple to make. So I started making it on a weekly basis and I'll kind of show you my process for that. Um, but it could not be easier, as I mentioned. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is take a, a quart mason jar and about a half a cup to three quarter cups of juniper berries. Don't mind getting my hands in there. And then about a quart of water, preferably spring water of some sort, and just fill it up all the way. Now I like to use uh, some sort of plastic cap, that way there's no like rust, uh, but you're welcome to use, you know, a wax paper or anything like that, uh, or one of those um, airlocks. Um, the main thing though is shaking it every day, and then what's called burping. Uh, so every day you're gonna wanna, no, sorry, not every day, maybe every four days, every few days, a couple days, uh, just open the cap and let the, release the gases. So yeah, shake and burp. Shake every day, burp every few days, we're good. Um, so I've actually got a bunch already uh, over here. This one's been going a little over a month. So they say to ferment it anywhere from 10 days, 14 days, to all the way to a month. Um, I, tip, I typically go for a month. Um, I think I like the carbonation that you get from it, and I think the, the flavors have a, have a nice amount of time to infuse over that period of time. Uh, so yeah, this is this has been going for about a month. You'll see that the juniper berries just start to fall to the bottom. They say that um, you know after 30 days all the juniper berries fall to the bottom. That's not always the case. These ones are these ones are floating still, and uh, but yeah, also important always date it because uh, you'll lose track quickly. Um, so basically I'm going to show you uh, what I like to do. What I like to do is I like to take a, this is a sprout screen. And get a, another quart jar. And then you're just going to strain it. Look at that beautiful color. Okay. Basically it's done. You could drink it as is. It's gonna have the nice juniper berry flavor. It's gonna have the carbonation. I always like to add uh, um, some honey, a sweetener of some sort, maple syrup will work. You can do sugar if you want, we're gonna make sugar. Um, but yeah, I always do honey, uh, lemon, and lime. I think that's really nice uh, flavor profile. Hibiscus tea would work. Uh, just throw in some hibiscus in there. Uh, gingers, I've done ginger before, that's really pleasant. Basically, let's do this. Get out of here. So some nice raw local honey, if you can. And just stir that in. It'll take a little bit for it to dissolve. Uh, then I always, I always do a pinch of salt. I think it adds some nice minerality, um, and I think it enhances the flavor quite a bit too. And then, yeah, like I said, I like to add some fresh lemon and some fresh lime. Honestly, I probably had quite a bit more than that, uh, but here for the video's sake, there you go. And that's your, yeah, that's your smriker right there. Um, let's get a bottle. I like to funnel it into a fancy bottle like this. Got some spillage going, don't mind me. Okay. There you go, that's Smarka. I, uh, I usually consume this pretty quick to be quite honest. It gives me a nice pep in my step. Uh, you could probably, I mean, it's a fermented beverage, you're probably just getting more fermented. 
um, over time, but probably drink it within a, a week or two is my is my recommendation. Um, but yeah, that's it. I just gifted one of my buddies the other day with a bottle of this. It's a it's a unique drink. It's it's delicious. It's invigorating. It's aromatic. Um, I definitely recommend giving Smreka a try. You could use wild juniper berries, but uh, you, you're gonna want to know be 100% positive your ID. So that's why I just I like to buy this juniper berries from Mountain Reserves. I know exactly what I'm getting. Um, and there you go. Hope you enjoy this recipe and cheers. This stuff is so good. Ha <laughs>